Yeah. <sighs> so crazy in your comments. Password to be okay. So my go to be forty three three eleven. so my amazon account is about to be created and it did not ask me for a number yet so now let's assume i want to click on your account yeah yeah it's going to ask me for a number so i simply go back yes so it will load i'll go back then i'll click on help this help here Okay, then you go up, you click on other account and taxes, you click on set up your KDP account, don't save. Okay, then you see two step verification here, you click on learn more. You take it to another, another tab, then you check here, you zoom it up so you can see it down clearly. So you click on enable two-step verification on that two-step verification enable two-step verification so this is it now this is it now so you read everything so you can understand better if you are not used to two-step verification yes so enable two-step verification you go to login and security take it on that tab again So it's loading. So in this page, you will see your email, you will see you have a number, you will see your name, you will see your password, then you will see two step verification and compromise. I can click on turn on two step verification. So you will see something like this two, two step verification, two SV settings. Click on get started. So it will show you two options. Either you should add a number to do it or you should use the authentication app. So you read everything if you are not good with authentication. Or then you copy this this link, copy this text is here, copy this alphabet here, copy everything. You go to your authentication app. I use Google Authenticator, so I will create a new setup key. Let me name it as Amazon KDP my setup key i'll put it here what i copied i'll put it here so you leave it as time based for security reasons leave it as time based you add it so immediately as i add it i'll copy the code here just click it to copy it's as easy as that so i'll put in verify otp and continue so it's almost done so i don't want to require otp on this my browser so that it will not stress me next time you can actually require otp you can leave it on check but i want to check it you can leave it on check for security reason so you click on got it turn on two-step verification so your two-step verification is turned on and you receive a mail so your two-step verification has been turned on auto automatically so now you cannot go back to your kdp browser the yes you can go back to the tab for kdp so you can now click on your account up you can click on your account from there and it asks for two-step verification from this your google app not your number anymore so you just click it again and put it in paste it so it's loading 
okay so i think this is all so your account has been successfully opened yes so now you cannot set up your profile everything without adding a number you can do it without adding a number so the number on a kdp account is just for a code a two-step verification normally so this is the other method in case you are having issues verific verifying your kdp they are not sending code so this is the best way to do it and it will work smoothly if you are trying to sign in and it takes you to that putting number first play what you have to do sign in with another phone or sign in with another browser yes sign in with another browser like see what i did here now this is my brief browser i used my chrome browser before and when i use my chrome browser it told me i should add a number before creating an account so what i simply do i came to my brief browser i came to my brief browser and I created another account because the account is not being created yet. It does not create as long as you have not added a number, so your account is not created yet. If I go back, you see it will take me to adding number sector and everything. So you see my account has not been created. See my account has not been created. There is no account that exists with this email address. So I simply I came here to my Brave browser and created another account. I used, I used, let me check the email I used. I used the same email to tell you that the account was not created yet. So I used the same email here. I used the same email on my, on my account here. So that is when the account got created. So that is how it's done. So for those having issues, this is the best way to do it. You have turned on two-step verification. So this is the app I use. You can use this app, Google Authenticator. You can download it on Play Store or your app store if you are using an iphone but if you are using your laptop for verification you can simply do it the same way use your phone to get the authentication code type it on your laptop and it will work fine copy the the code that the the authentication key that was there that i did copy it and put on my authentication app you can copy it send it on your laptop whatsapp or you type it on your authentication key by clicking here yeah, click or set up a new key you can name here yeah, as anything you want to name it so like like me i have a lot of authentication keys here for everything on my phone so you can i name them with anything so you can name yours and put the key here and put it on time base for security reason add so that is how it's done and there's a security here on google that if you lost if you lost your phone or you lose your your you delete this app from your phone you delete anything you make you delete this app for your phone and once you delete this app from your phone you'll be able to get about this your authentication code anymore and there's no login to this thing there's no login to this thing so that is how it's done so you have to be backing up your your google email and everything your google apps and everything but for those that are using iphone there's a way you can do it too so thank you very much guys